today on Be Something Wonderful, fulfillment is the only reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had a really powerful session this morning that I wanted, I changed my plan to do a video about it because this is a guy who I talked with, with several weeks ago now that, and at the time he said, he was talking about going through a, a really, um, what, he, what he described as a brutal divorce. And they were, there was a, a, a battle over, um, and this is his words, right? A, a battle over um, custody of their young son. There was a, there's a battle over money, all of this, right? And, and he just really wanted peace. He, 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 he wanted shared custody of the son. He wanted to really work things out. And, but he said, you know, Tom, this is a lot of resistance there I'm, I'm, to really imagine this. And I just, and, and so we talked for a while and, and he's familiar with the channel and the teachings of Neville got it and all that. So, I, so we talked about just imagine that peace within, just imagine yourself. Maybe you're sitting on a sofa, wherever you normally are. And just imagine that yourself, that you're saying everything, everything really is working out. Right, feel that peace, feel that. We, and we talked about this idea that, that there's only God, there's only peace, there's only love. All this drama and trauma that's going on is made up, is created, and it's not, who, it's not ultimate reality. It's not who we really are. That's why it feels so bad. So, so, as we, so he set a session up today to talk about that, what happened, but it was bigger than that. So it, it turns out that, that, um, that, he, that him and his wife are not only, not, they're not only talking about sharing custody, that, that, that he could actually have custody of the son and then she can, she, he could schedule around her visiting. So it's all turned around and she does, there, there's no argument with money. She doesn't want to fight about that. And in fact, she wanted to talk about reconciling. All of this, as he, and he said, but, but Tom, that's not really why I'm calling you <laughs> and talking today. He, he read this, um, uh, what Hannah wrote on the channel about her realization. And he said, that's something similar to what happened to him a bit, a while ago. And he wasn't really sure. He just thought it was him getting, uh, really getting this idea that it's all within, right? That fulfillment is within him. And he didn't quite have the, the physical um, experience that Hannah had. Hannah had a very, very powerful physical experience, but he felt that. And, and, and he says, you know, it's, it's, it's like, the, it's no big deal to me now with, with that stuff that's going on with my ex. And, and we are talking and I'm not sure I really want to um, uh, get, back together in that way with her but but you know certainly it's good for our family it's good for my son and and but more than that i just feel that peace within so guys i want to talk about this today and more so here's the thing when, when we had first when i had first talked to him he was trying to solve his life he was trying to solve all of that drama, all that trauma, all those things that were coming at him. He was trying to find a way to solve it, right? And instead, it's not, he, it, we talked about stop trying to solve the problem of not having or not being what you want and just allow the solution to reveal itself, allow it to unfold. In other words, rest in that peace within, rest in that fulfillment. God's not becoming, God is. Right? Remember, God already is. The flowers in the seed, the answers in the problem, the fulfillments in the desire, the effect is in the cause. Right? Loose your belief in linear time in duality. Right? Let go of a... He, he was worried about, well, what about this and what about that and all of these things, all of these creations. And we got back to the point, well, let's just go within. Imagine that peace. Right? This is really what... A few of you now have written, I think another of you wrote on the channel that they had an experience similar to Hannah. So a lot of you now are getting this or you're, or you're starting to feel this fulfillment, this natural fulfillment within, right? Remember, before they call, I will answer. 
This is what Jesus said, right? The answer's already there. With, 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 us, with us trying to solve the problem or, or, or fighting and trying to, trying to get things and trying to have it our way, we're getting, in, we're, getting, we're, we're getting involved in all the mess, right? Instead, in the beginning, God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last, the beginning and end. Throughout Scripture, the beginning of Scripture, it's just God. At the, towards the end of Scripture, it's just God. Right? All that stuff in between is, is the drama and trauma, right? That you can choose peace instead of that, right? The desire and the fulfillment is already there. The first and last, desire and fulfillment, desire and fulfillment, beginning and end, it's already yours. You're already that. In the beginning, God. In the end, God. It's just God. Everything is God. There's nothing but God or nothing but good. And this is what my client and a lot of you are now really getting, really realizing this, right? There's nothing but love. There's nothing but fulfillment. It's always going your way because, it, because you are the way. Do you hear this? It's always going your way because you are the way. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. This is what Jesus said, right? There's nothing but fulfillment. And all the drama and trauma and all the good and bad and all the right and wrong and all the pleasure and pain, it's just God. It's just that I am, right? That spirit within. That's all there is. Wow. From the beginning in Genesis to the end in Revelations, it was all God. It's always been God, right? From Moses to Jesus, the message is always the same. I am. I am infinite. I am complete. I'm wholly fulfilled now. This is, this is really the realization that brings you everything, right? Remember, we talk, it's not so much the, the specific scene of an imaginal act or anything like that. It's about feeling that already real, very real reality within you, having that experience within, right? It's not trying to make anything happen in the outside world. That's just going to be natural when you, when, you, when you touch that fulfillment within, when you reach for that God within. Always one with source. The, this is what A Course in Miracles says. The journey to God is merely the reawakening of the knowledge of where you are always and what you are forever. That's so big. Here it is again. The journey to God means there is no journey. It's the pathless path, right? It's the journeyless journey. The journey to God is merely the reawakening of the knowledge of where you are always and what you are forever. It's a journey without distance to a goal that never has changed. The goal is fulfillment. And it's already there. It's, there's no distance to that, right? Truth can only be experienced. This is really the experience of Hannah the experience of the client that I talked to this morning. And I think in one of you also wrote on the channel, it's hard to explain, right? It can only be experienced. It can't be described and it can't be explained, right? Even though we try and we do the best we can in words, but that fulfillment within is mind boggling, right? You can't explain that. That's so powerful. So the state of wish fulfilled is the feeling because some of you are asking, well, I don't know, what the, in other sessions that I had, I think it was yesterday, I, I don't get, what, what about the feeling? I'm not sure if I'm feeling, it's the feeling of truth within. It's the feeling of conviction that you lack nothing. It's the gratitude for that deep knowing or that deep knowing of your I am. That's what fulfillment is. That, it's, not, it's nothing more than that. That's who you naturally are. It's the feeling of the truth. It's that conviction that you lack nothing. It's that gratitude of that deep knowing of that I am within. You are what you desire, right? Remember what Neville says. Neville says, you already are that what you desire. It's only your refusal to believe it <laughs> that keeps you from it, right? God only knows completion, fulfillment in being. It's not about, God knows nothing of processes, nothing of time, nothing of obstacles, and nothing of doubt, and certainly nothing of your drama and trauma and everything else that's going on, right? God knows nothing about that. God only knows the beginning and end. The beginning's fulfillment, the end's fulfillment, right? So the key is move your attention from the things you desire to change and focus on the already changed reality. Hear this right? Move your, move your attention from the problems and the things you want to change, that unfulfillment, and focus on the already changed reality within, the reality of your I am, the reality of fulfillment within. Move from desiring and wanting the 3D 
current, the current 3D reality to be different to the already fulfilled reality within that I am, that fulfillment, aligning with it, allowing its realization in 3D, right? You're aligning with it within. It must, it must manifest. It must come to fulfillment in 3D. It is the world mirror. It's the God mirror, right? Most important realization is that you're never separated from your infinite power, infinite love, infinite source, that infinite truth. There is no reality to lack. There's no reality to struggle. There's no reality to limitation. There's no reality to doubt. There's no reality to fear. There's no reality to the drama. There's no reality to the trauma. There's no reality to that. You, I'm not saying you're not experiencing it. For sure you're having the experience of it, right? If, you, if you're feeling that. But there's no reality to it. The reality back of everything is just God. Just love, just fulfillment, and just good. Wow! Fulfillment is the only reality. I am your host, Tom Karen. This is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. Uh, you can join that. It's a totally open group where you, can ju- where you can share insight and guidance or ask for insight and guidance from others, share your success stories. It's a beautiful group, wonderful group. And also, guys, visit us on um, Instagram at Tom Karen. You can join us there or at Twitter at Tom Karen. Join us there. And guys, for all the information, as you know, it, in the link below on every video is all of the links and descriptions and, and, and places to find us, emails and the coaching um, link and all the other things you could possibly ask for, or just visit our website anytime at tomcaron.com or be something wonderful.com. That has all the information. Until next time, creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom. See you soon.